An essential part of setting up an agent is what we call foot locking, or locking our character's feet to the ground. Here I have a geometry node called Agent Setup, where I have an agent node and an agent clip with a walk clip. I haven't used any agent layer node because I don't need to add any prop to my character. The default layer is enough for me. Okay, so here in the Agent Setup node, let's press Tab and create a Grid node, which is just a plane, nothing special. Then I'm going to create a Merge node and join these two node chains. Let's plug the Agent Clip, our Agent Chain, into the Merge node and then the grid. By displaying this merge node, you'll be able to see these two objects together. Select the grid node and change the size to something like 1050 to create something like this, a catwalk, a red carpet. This will be the terrain our agent will walk on. This terrain looks very lame. To make it look more like a real terrain, let's add a mountain node and put it here so it modifies the grid. You see that the terrain looks different now. It has been deformed by the mountain node. Let's take a look at the parameters. The height parameter determines the height of these elevations, the height of the mountains. And with the element size, you can control how close these irregularities are. If we decrease it, the elevations will be closer to each other. If we increase it, they will be more spread out. It's like shrinking or expanding our terrain. The problem with our grid is that it doesn't have enough divisions, so when the mountain node deforms the grid, we get very sharp shapes. We can fix this by increasing these two parameters in the grid node rows and columns. I'll set them to 100 and 100. Awesome, now it looks more like a mountain. I'm going to decrease the height to 1 and leave the element size at 10. We want to have some irregularities, some small elevations, but not too much. If I press play now, my agent will start walking and eventually he will go through the terrain. We haven't told him yet that this is his terrain, so he just ignores it. How can I tell my agent that he should adapt to this terrain I've just created? We have a node in Houdini called Agent Terrain Adaptation that does exactly what it says. I'm going to delete the Merge node, hit Tab, and create an Agent Terrain Adaptation node. This node has two inputs. The first one is asking for Agents, so I'll connect here my Agent Chain. And the second input needs a Terrain, so I'll connect this to my Mountain node. Let's go back to frame 1 and display the Terrain Adaptation node. We notice that our agent went down a bit, and that's because he is now adapting to the terrain. But as you may have noticed, we are not seeing our terrain in the viewport. Why not? That's actually a very good question. This node is called Agent Terrain Adaptation, <laughs> but for some reason it doesn't have an option to display the terrain. What we can do is use a merge node but instead of connecting the Agent Clip, I'll connect the Agent Terrain Adaptation, which is my agent already adapted to the terrain, and then the Mountain Node. Display the Merge and you'll be able to see both now, your agent and your terrain. And one more thing, I'll turn off the Reference Grid because it's a bit disturbing to have so many lines here. Great, my agent's fit! are now planted on the ground. So let's press play and see how it looks. We did it! Our agent doesn't go through the terrain anymore. 
Now his feet are always on the surface. Let's keep an eye on the feet and see how they behave. You'll probably notice that the feet are sliding. They don't get fixed to the ground. And this is something we want to fix. In order to fix it, we have to tell Houdini where our legs and feet are so it knows which part of the body should get fixed to the ground. For that, we have to create an agent prep node that will connect here in our agent node chain. Let's display it. The agent prep node usually goes after the clips or, if we had layers, after the layers. It's the last step in our agent configuration. Before moving on, go to the agent clip parameters and turn off the clip preview. It will be easier to configure the legs if the agent is in a neutral pose like the T pose. This agent prep node has three different sections. For now, we only need to focus on the lower limbs, the legs. Click on the plus button to add a new lower limb. Now we need to tell Houdini which part of our agent is the upper leg, the knee, the ankle, and the toe. Let's start with the upper leg. Clicking on this arrow, we see a list of all the joints, or we could call them bones, our character has. If you are using models from Mixamo, the upper leg is the one that ends with up leg. Let's look for the left upper leg. Here it is. Left up leg. The knee is the leg joint. Left leg. The ankle would be the foot joint. Left foot. And the toe would be the toe base joint. Left toe base. I've just set up my agent's left leg. Now I have to do the same thing for the right leg. Click again on the plus button to create a new lower limb, but now I have to select those ending with right instead of left. I've developed a Python script to do this automatically for you. Instead of going one by one, you can just run the tool and it will set all the joints for your agent. I'll show you how to use this tool in another video. Now, if I place the pointer in the viewport and press W, the viewport will switch to wireframe mode and will display the skeleton of our scene. And if the lower limbs are correct, you'll see some blue crosses on the leg. These blue crosses or markers are the joints that we have configured in the parameters. Let's go back to the shaded view by pressing W again. Awesome! The last thing we have to do, and the most important one, is to generate the foot locking channels. We do that by going to the additional channels tab in the agent prep node and pressing this button here, create footplant chop network. As soon as we press the button, this parameter will be filled in and there will also be a new chop network node around. By clicking this button, we create extra channels. A channel is like a motion controller. And these extra channels will tell Houdini when our agent's feet are on the ground and when they are not. And thanks to this information, whenever our agent puts his feet on the ground, Houdini will lock them so they don't move or slide as before. Ok, this play now the agent terrain adaptation. And you'll see something strange happening with the hills. His hills are way too down. I'm also going to turn on the clip preview to see my agent in motion and display the merge node now to see both objects in the viewport. As we saw before, there's something wrong with the hills. They are going through the ground. Press play and see what you get. So yes, our agent's feet don't slide anymore. They remain fixed to the ground and that's what we wanted. But for some reason, his heels sink into the ground. Why is this happening? 
Let's go to the agent prep again and display it. Turn off the clip preview so we have the typos and zoom in on the fit. Switch to wireframe mode with W and you'll notice that this blue marker is on the ankle. That's what's causing the heels to sink into the ground. We want this blue marker to be here, on the heel, not on the ankle. We want the heel to be locked to the ground and not the ankle. So I'll place the pointer in the viewport and press enter to enter the edit mode. You'll see some red dots appear on these blue markers. With these red dots, we can adjust the position of these markers. I'm going to adjust this one first, the left ankle, moving it down until it shows up. Something like that. And now let's do the same with the right foot. Move it down so the marker is on the heel. Press Escape to exit the edit mode, turn on the clip preview again to see the agent in motion, and display the merge node to see both the agent and the terrain. Press play and the sinking heel issue should now be fixed. Your agent's feet will now behave as they should. They will adapt to the terrain and be locked when placed on the ground, instead of just floating or sliding on the terrain. These small details will make your crowd look more realistic. Okay, so this is how foot locking works. Note that this whole foot locking thing has been set up here in the agent prep node. We should keep this chop network node because it contains the foot locking channels. But these other nodes, the agent terrain adaptation, the terrain and the merge nodes, you can delete them if you want, as we've used them only for testing purposes.